Hi, welcome to Promotion Strategy in the Marketing Playlist. Because this topic is so big, I've broken the topic of Promotion Strategy into three parts. This video is part one of three. Thank you for joining me. My name is Shoma Jurgensen, and I am the owner of Intentional Growth Strategies. And I'm really excited to present to you a three-part series on the element of the marketing mix known as promotion. In part one, we're going to focus on definition, and that's this video here. We'll talk about what promotion is not. There are a lot of misconceptions about what promotion is. Quite frankly, they're myths. It's not completely true. So we are going to talk about what promotion actually is. And I have some cautions for you as we enter into the additional two videos. In video two, you'll get an introduction of the promotion strategy. We'll talk about push and pull strategies and tools, when you use these types of promotional tools. And in part three, the planning video, we'll match these tools to marketing objectives, which should always be happening as you plan your marketing mix, your tactics. They should always match back to your marketing objectives. We're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into publicity because it is in and of itself its own industry and deserves a little more time and space. And finally, you'll have a chance to see how you've learned as you've progressed through these three videos. Let's get started. I'd like to start with the definition of promotions by first defining what it's not or those misconceptions. Promotion is not advertising. This is very important because often people interchange the terms promotion and advertising and use them synonymously when they're not. What promotion is, is a specific set of activities that are designed to enhance sales from the right buyer at the right time. If it sounds like this definition harkens back to what marketing is, knowing your buyer and why he or she might purchase your offering, then you're right because promotion should connect to your ultimate understanding of the market of your consumer. But what's important to understand about promotion is that its primary purpose is to answer this question and that is how is demand generated? And promotion does that in a variety of ways. Before we dig into each of those tools and ways, I want to give you a couple of cautions about promotions overall. And the biggest one is not to use promotions for unintended purposes. This is what I mean. First of all, as I go through the videos, you might wonder why I'm not talking more about social media and the web. The reason is social media and the web are channels. They're not promotions themselves. The tools or tactics that you use could work in direct mail, which is a channel, mass media, which is a channel, social media, or online and web marketing. Often I will get a client that'll say, oh, I need to promote my product. I need to be on social media. And I'll say to them, okay, social media is a great channel. What is your objective? What are you promoting? What are you trying to accomplish? What are you going to say? Who do you want to act? How are you enhancing sales? And that's when I get the crickets because they have not understood or internalized that social media is not in and of itself a promotion and the web, they're channels. The next piece is when businesses are unsure of their offering, things aren't, things being the, the products and services, aren't flying off the shelves as quickly as they would like, one of the first impulses is to slash prices. From my former college students, I would get this a lot when I'd ask them, well, how are you going to increase sales? First drop to slashing prices. Now discounting strategically is a promotional tool, but that's different than quickly lowering the price, which can have a negative impact on your brand and your marketing plan overall. Third is to remember that promotions aren't duct tape. I've worked for many companies where if they're offering, and I've used that term now several times, so if you're wondering what that is, do watch my product marketing video. They're offering if it's not selling as well as they like, or the quality is not where it needs to be, 
and it's not selling because they haven't quite nailed down their niche or their customer, they'll use promotions to increase volume for the wrong reason. So they're trying to put a duct tape on a poor product or a poor marketing plan. And what happens is the promotions help them get the offering into the hands of more people, which in turn either intensifies the fact that it's not a solid product or that the marketing isn't on point. So be very careful and strategic about how you use promotions to enhance sales and create demand. Please subscribe and share. In addition to promotions, there are far more videos in the pipeline. I look forward to seeing you soon.